Love to play? Then log on to GameshowNetwork.com. GameshowNetwork.com puts the world of play at your fingertips. Why just surf when you can play? It's time for more of Game Show Network's 12 Games of Christmas, a Yuletide celebration of classic game shows. And what better way to make it a white Christmas than with your holiday hostess, Betty White. Here at Game Show Network, we've made a list and checked it twice to find out which game shows are naughty and which ones are even naughtier. <laughs> And what we've come up with is a 1983 Christmas episode of Tattletales. Watch as Lynn Redgrave, Bill Daly, and their spouses spice things up just in time for the holidays. Now, listen up, because here's your next play at home question. What does Bill Daly's wife consider more interesting than sex? <laughs> I bet it's game show marathons. Let's meet today's celebrity couple. John Clark and his wife, Lynn Redgrave. Bill Daly and his wife, Vivian. From Dynasty, Grant Goodeve and his wife, Debbie. The Laces, please! They'll all be winning money for their rooting sections as we play the game of celebrity gossip, Tattle Tales. And now, here's the star of Tattletales, Bert Conley! Hi, thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tattletales. Nice to have you with us during this holiday season. We have a lovely group of people who have been brightening our holiday, as a matter of fact. You've already met them. Let's see if they're all in their places and ready to go with bright, shiny faces. Hi, guys. Merry ladies, are, are you ready to go? Thank you, and a Merry Christmas to you, too, sir. If you're ready to go, ladies, uh, we'll yes. get things rolling, and then we'll visit. Look, everybody's in sweaters and cuddly. We have the wreath back there. All we need is the fire, and it'd be, the picture would be complete. And a, maybe a little window with some frost. On. Oh, sh shut up, Bert. Here we go. <laughs> First question, ladies, it's for you. The two of you are having dinner at a restaurant. The couple at the next table have been arguing, and it's obvious that you've overheard everything. Suddenly, they turn to your table and say, we'd like your opinion. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Who is likely to give their opinion? You, him, both of you, or neither of you? All right, ladies, goodbye. Now that's happened. Have you ever been at dinner with your wife and, and she starts to say something, you go, shh, 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 it's getting good. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, you know, you, sometimes people really forget where they are and just say anything. What do you think? Uh, Grant, what would Debbie say? Well, here we are on another day of this game. I just want to say that we'll probably be having dinner sometime next week. And if we're talking about the last couple of games, we may just be having some kind of a talk that we can lean over and say, what do you think? Yeah. Because it, uh, and they'll tell you. Yeah, I'm glad we love each other, I tell you. Me this too. It's a tough game on, uh, on relationships. Um, I don't mean to depress everybody. Um, what, uh, I think that uh, we would probably, she would say, um, no comment. No comment? Yeah. But what I'm asking is, who would be more likely to give their opinion? You? You, or, or neither of or us. Or Debbie, or neither of you, oh, or both of you. Yeah, well, that's good. Uh, <laughs> boy, it's good to get bright people on here. Um, <laughs> I, would say, I would say we'd both, neither of us. Neither of you would yeah. be interested in helping out. You'd say, you're on your own, folks. That's right. Here she comes. Debbie, uh, how will you handle this when they turn to you and say, your opinion, please? I'm sure that I would start out talking and then Grant would join in, so both of us. Uh, no, he said neither of uh, you. But you were close. <laughs> Sorry, we were close. Baby. We were both involved. Oh, Maybe you two are going to have something to talk about I don't later. know. Uh, Bill, what will Vivian do? You're going to hate me for this, but you're going to have to read that again. That okay. is so tough. There, you're at dinner, and the couple next to you yeah, is, is talking and party. arguing and really getting into it, and it's obvious that you're so close you can hear everything. And at one point... I just argument, love to hear you talk. You do oh, this I see. A little point, Christmas music in the back. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Keep going. And they, and they turn to you, you and they finally we say, you we'd like your opinion, we please. You now you've been singing, you don't know what I said. Yes, again. I know what you said. Okay. <laughs> so the answers are you... Oh, you got to give me the answer already? Meaning Vivian, or you alone would offer an opinion, both of you or neither of you. I would say that uh, Vivian would definitely give me a shh, you know. That doesn't answer any... When I know it's real silent, you know, that's not an answer. That's right. I thought, well, that's it. I got off that, you know, and everybody's going like, what city is the idiot doing? Evidently, that's not the answer that's to that not question. not the answer, no. 
The answer is either who, who's going to give an opinion to these people? Uh, I would be the one to give the opinion to the and people. Not Vivian. Definitely not. She'd tell me, shh. Hey, that was right. That's what I said. <laughs> you fooled yourself. Here she comes. Boy, this is a hard show. <laughs> <laughs> and I wore my yellow sweater for the yellow section. Shh, shh, shh. No, you can't say another word now. Vivian, we need your answer, dear. I would probably thank them for, for letting me enter their argument because I'd be listening. And of course, I'd have my opinion by then. And I would get involved. But after, uh, I would get involved, and then Bill would get involved because he'd have an argument with me about what I was getting involved about. So your answer so is... So both of us. Uh, no, he said just him. Just he, him? Yeah, that's what he said. He really? would be involved and not you. Everybody's missed it so far. Don't oh. feel bad. John, what about that's a Lynn? tough question. It oh. is tough. Oh. Yo, it's funny. It's, this is quite a funny question because one night I, I, I was in a restaurant in New York City. It was the Palm, I remember, and I was gorging myself on stings. And, and there was this elderly couple in the next booth. She was his mistress. And some discussion ensued about his marital situation and then it, whether he was going to take it to a discotheque later. And slowly, and they, they were talking far too loud. I think they had a hearing aid problem. But the entire restaurant stopped talking. And everybody tuned in. We all listened to this going like on. EF and then finally they got up and we're saying, take it to, and we started to take it to Elaine's, <laughs> you know, go. <laughs> they didn't ask us, but we were offering it. Right. The answer to your question. I certainly would, and then Lynn would join in, I know, but I would probably lead the way. And uh, so therefore I would say that we both would. Say both. Okay, yeah. that's a good way to go because that's the way it's been going back there. Here yeah. she comes. Lynn, you can yes. get the whole thing for the red section to start off with because the other ladies missed it. What do you think? Oh, my goodness. Well, the thing is that, that uh, we're both quite opinionated, and he'd start and I'd join in, so both of us Exactly would. right. Yeah. Word for word, what he said. You get the whole thing to start it off with. I will come back in a moment. That's beautiful. See you in a second. Don't go away. The 12 Games of Christmas, hosted by Betty White, will return after this. It happens all the time. Real people really win the Publishers Clearinghouse sweepstakes. I told you I was going to win, didn't I? This has made me a believer. Now I believe this. I saw it in person. It happened to me. And it'll happen again. Super Bowl Sunday, the prize patrol could surprise you with $10 million. Live on TV. Someone has to win. Just send it in. Enter by mail or go to PCH.com. And Super Bowl Sunday, the biggest winner could be you. If I want anybody to win, I guarantee it. 32, 33, 34, 45, 46, 47, 50, 451, 452. Cold symptoms keeping you awake? What? Get NyQuil, the nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever, so you can get the sleep you need to feel better, medicine. Little body foo foo. <coughs> la 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 la. La 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 la. Forget scrubbing or rinsing. Now food left on your plate gets dissolved away. Try Cascade Complete. Skip the sink. Winning never sounded so good. Hollywood Showdown, new season premiering January 1st on Game Show Network. Uh, here we go. Question number two. Uh, you, have you noticed that so far this week it's been that way that usually one couple will get all of the money on each question? Very strange. That's, it's unusual for us. Ladies, listen to this one. Which of the following three books would you rather get for Christmas? The Joy of Computers, The Joy of Sex, or The Joy of Pigging Out? Uh, pigging out? I trust you all know what pigging, pigging, out? pigging out means. It means eating uh, like a pig. Thank you so much. Who said this wasn't a class operations? Goodbye, ladies. Um, Bill, you seem amused by that. Uh, see, I, it's so funny. The, the original, the generic term used to be joy of cooking. Now we don't even, it's not even in our joy question. Joy of pigging see, out. See how things have changed. Uh, what was the other two? Uh, the joy of uh, computers, the joy of sex. Or the joy of pigging out. There's a lot of, there's a lot of joy there in that second one. Yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully. I would say I'm just so happy because I understand this question. <laughs> I we wouldn't understand too. my answer, though. Yeah, you are too. I know. Yeah, it's, we're kind of happy sorry. about it. Uh, <laughs> well, I'd have to. I'd have to eliminate the other two because she picking out. She wouldn't go with that and wouldn't go with the. I'd say definitely the joy of sex. That's the be. book she'd read. I don't have. think she'd like. 
either one of them. She'd like... Really? She wouldn't no, like the joy of sex? either three of them. No, hmm? definitely uh, the joy of sex. Okay, here she comes. Vivian, uh, pick one of those books. Which ones would you like to get for Christmas? Uh, I, I personally think food is more interesting than sex. So I'll say picking up. <laughs> no! <laughs> is that a great... <laughs> is that a comment on my life? <laughs> I guess so. Merry Christmas, Bill. Oh. Well, I know I'm not going to get a goose for Christmas. I'll tell you that. Is that, is that, is that Your Christmas great goose is cooked, where we're Bill. going? <laughs> so, oh, my gosh. What did he say? A computer? What, he what said the joy of sex, which you were not we, interested in. We have that already. Oh, I see. Thank we you. Good it. for you. We also have the joy of picking out, but I didn't pick that. John, I didn't pick that. Say. It's a little high in there. Pick that. Well, uh... Uh, that's a, the very interesting one. Uh, having sex by computer while picking on, I guess. <laughs> yeah. so, so, uh, but uh, 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 Lynn's a weight watcher now, you know, and this means she, she mustn't eat and she easily puts on weight and so on. And so uh, now that she can't actually do it herself, she does love to read about it, and I think that would fascinate her the most. And that's probably what... Is it what I would give her for Christmas, or what she'd like yes, to what find? Yeah, what she'd like a, to receive. Follow yeah, well, either way, whether I gave it or someone else, she'd love to find a book on picking out, and then she can read about it and the think about it. The joy of picking out. Here yeah. she comes. Lynn, will you please choose one of these yes. books you would like to receive I just Christmas? hope he got... He should have got this right. Um, you know, being... a Lifelong Weight Watcher, of course, all I want to know about is picking out. That's okay. right, that's what it says. <laughs> You've got all the money so far. Nobody's got anything like that, except you. Uh, well, I guess that's dialogue for the 80s, huh? The joy of pigging out. Yeah. Uh, Graham, what will Debbie say? I'm so afraid to say anything. <laughs> Don't be afraid. <laughs> Hang in there, big guy. You can do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, well, she could get... Uh, she loves to, to... Like a lot of people I know, loves to eat. And... Uh, the, that second one, she that would get it. That would be trouble. Which one uh, is that? that well, <laughs> he's good. Um, I would say because she wouldn't want to to entice herself with a lot of food, that she wouldn't take that. And the other one, eh, we've seen that. And uh, <laughs> so I would say just as a shot in the dark, maybe we'll get one right. Um, computers. The computers. She would say computers. Really? Now wait a minute. Oh, wait. Why is the red section scoffing? <laughs> They're scoffing. What do you care if he wins it or loses it? They're all going, ah, ah. Okay, here she comes. <laughs> we'll see what it is. Shh. Debbie, you must pick one book that you would like to receive on Christmas. Great, we're going to get this one right. Um, it's not the joy of sex, because I've already read it. It's not the joy of picking out, because I don't like to pick out. It's the joy of computers. That's right. Got you got it. They laughed at you. Debbie and Grant and Lynn and John are right. Split in half. It's halftime, guys. Step to the rear. We'll come back with the second half of the joy of Tattletales in just a moment. Don't go away. And we'll be back with the second half of Tattletales starring from Dynasty, Grant Goodeve and his wife, Debbie, Bill Daly and his wife, Vivian, and John Clark and his wife, Lynn Redgrave, right after these messages. Sometimes it's hard for him to breathe. I used to use an inhaler to help, but recently my doctor switched me to a nebulizer. His doctor said it would be better for him. And it's covered by Medicare. That makes life easier for us. We found something else that makes life a lot easier. If you use a nebulizer or inhaler to help you breathe and are covered by Medicare, Liberty Home Pharmacy can make life easier for you, too. Liberty delivers all his medications right to our door. And they bill Medicare and our insurance company. We have no upfront costs and no forms to fill out. <laughs> now we have more time for us. If you're 65 or older, have emphysema, chronic bronchitis, or asthma, and are covered by Medicare, Call this number for more information about home delivery of nebulizers and respiratory medications from Liberty Home Pharmacy. Who wouldn't want more time for the fun things in life? See how beautiful 60 can look. See how invisible osteoporosis can be. If you're over 60, there's a nearly one in two chance you have it. So ask your doctor about a bone density test and treatments that can help.
every day, good to the last drop. Introducing big, really big sheets. And new Bounty Extra. New Bounty Extra. The big, quicker picker-upper. Mom, grab a soda. I dance nude when I get up in the morning. That's strange, I know. But... That's not strange, Mark. That's sick. <laughs> the new Newlywed Game, weeknights at 10.30 and 2.30 Eastern. Hello there. We've changed places after halftime. I have three lovely ladies with me. Fellas, so you'll know the score. Uh, Grant, you have $75. Uh, John, you have $225. And Bill, you don't want to know about it, okay? <laughs> Here comes your question worth $150. Men, let's test your powers of observation. Does the bra your wife is wearing right now hook in the front or in the back? <laughs> the bra you're wearing. Goodbye. The bra you... <laughs> Oh, yes, the dating game, my tush. We can top them any time. What do you think, Lynn? What well, you... this ought to be easy, and if he gets it wrong, it's really... I haven't worn a back-fastening one in, well, I mean, eight million years, because I always... I could never do them up, so I used to have to slide them around. I've worn front-fastening ones for so long. If he gets it wrong, it really He's means in trouble. the end of everything. <laughs> it's, it's front. It, okay, it's here he front, comes. Yeah. We'll see. John, we've gone from the sublime to the ridiculous here. What do you think? The gore blimey. That's an unfair question. It's a good question, though, you know. I, I didn't happen to watch my wife dress this morning. Uh, <laughs> no, she's got about, I, I think she's got about 50% of one and 50% of the other. So it's pure guesswork on my part. And uh, uh, <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I think, I haven't seen those funny split ones hanging around the chair in the bedroom lately. So I think... She probably has the one that hooks up at the back. No. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> You're in big trouble. She just took a ring off and is leaving the stage, John. <laughs> it's over. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Oh, my. I haven't, fun I haven't worn one, one of those since before I knew you, and we've been married 16 years. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, John, but you're in you're deep in trouble. You're in big trouble. <laughs> big and trouble. And a Merry Christmas to you, sir. Debbie, what will Grant say? Uh, um, I think he'll... He, he's not very interested in lingerie. I don't think he's Sorry to hear it. that. But, uh, oh, I'm glad well, to hear that, whichever the case may be. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, I always wear one in the front, so... So he should maybe not know that, because well, I know. I think he. I. I, I, mean, I hope he's aware enough that. You I know, hope so too. To, uh, uh, we'll, we'll find out know. momentarily. <laughs> we'll see. Here he comes. Grant, uh, which would it be for you, sir? Um, assuming that she's still wearing one now. Yes. And uh, I think uh, you. Did she put mine on this one? <laughs> No, I think she's still wearing the same bra she had when we first met, and uh, I think it, it hooks in the back. Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> oh! <laughs> they don't know! Folks, what does this tell us about your observation? Huh? Oh, <laughs> You're not looking. You're not watching enough. Well, look at this. Uh, Vivian, you can get, really get rich here quick. What do you, you think? You would think they would know that. Yes, though. you would think, think that. I think they would. Really <laughs> Indeed you upset. would. Really I know. Upset. I don't mean I know which where one's we yours are. No, we told you. I swear I don't know we that. We told you. Keeping Tom in the dressing room, eh? <laughs> yes, we have that little camera up in the ceiling. You didn't know. Well, it's all right. No. Um, geez, I don't think he even thinks I wear one. He doesn't care about those details. Um, I guess he'll say the front because... Is that the question? The front? Yes, front or the back? The front or the back? The front. Yeah, does it hook in the front or the back? The front. You're going to say the front? Now, they've all said the, front, the back, and both of them were the front. You don't want to benefit no, from theirs. I, uh, uh, I'll no, I'll still say the friend. You'll say the friend. All right, here he comes. Oh, watch, God. watch this, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> there, does he have the look of a confident man? <laughs> Bill, <laughs> cheer up, will you? In there? Oh, it's so funny. Guys, cheer there. up. <laughs> like this. What do you think, Bill? You can get the whole thing for the bananas, and God knows you need it. <laughs> I certainly do need yes, it. Sir, I tell what you do you that. think? Well, you remember my wife was the one that said uh, that she would rather, you know, read a book on computers than on sex. So, uh, give you an idea, I haven't seen those parts much, any of those parts, in my last uh, few years. 
So I don't know what's going on down there. And uh, is, uh, I didn't even know she had boobs, actually. I... You must be a little more observing, Bill. Around there, I'll tell you so if I could find her, if I ever get around there in the next three or four years, I'd probably... It's been so long, I've forgotten that she wears a... I'd have to take a guess, really. Uh, Actually, she wears a zipper on the side. No, no, that's no, not, uh, that's that's not, not your story, sir. sir. I would have to guess because I think the bras are different. I was out with a girl last... No, no, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, honey. Oh, just a little, little humor there. Uh, I would guess from the front. That's right. Why did he guess that? I have no idea. You get the whole thing, Bill. Now we have a nice time game. We'll come back in a moment. And a hook on hook. Uh, on hook. A uh, hook or uh, something. Don't go back. Betty will be back with more of the 12 Games of Christmas right here on Game Show Network. Don't let old man winter slow you down. Take Hall's Defense with Vitamin C. It's a full day's supply of Vitamin C. And a powerful defense against winter. Get Hall's Defense and get going. What if you could reverse an effect of aging on your dog's immune system? Feed him Imes Active Maturity Formula after age five. It's the first dog food shown to help restore vital cells in his immune system. So you can shape what tomorrow brings. Imes. Good for today. Good for tomorrow. Good for life. Every day, good to the last drop. Off we go. This is the $300 question. This will decide it for the day, and truly any of you can win. So listen carefully, guys. Uh, do you intend to make any New Year's resolutions this year? Yes or no? Think about it, and goodbye. Uh, it's a better question than you might think, because I, I, I don't do that anymore. I used to do it, but I don't really ever think about it so much, unless something comes up. And I, but very rarely, I think, I even think about it anymore. What about you, Debbie? What do you think Grant will say? Every year, he, he seems to, whether it's giving up smoking, or which he has, or, you know, any number of things. And I, I, I'm almost, I, I'm 100% sure that he will say, Yes. Yes, he will have some. Yes. And, and it will be smoking again? No, it'll be being a better person, being kinder, something. Right. Something like that. How many years has he been working on that, Debbie? <laughs> <laughs> How old is he? <laughs> okay, you're going to say yes. The answer yes. is yes. Here he comes. Uh, Grant, uh, New Year's is around the corner. Uh, what are you going to do about it? Anything? Just in time to make a resolution to never do tattletales again. Oh, no. Don't <laughs> do that. <laughs> Just kidding. Besides that one, um, I think that uh, I'm always making and breaking resolutions all year long, so why is New Year's any different? Um, I would say probably this year, more than any year, no. Oh, she said yes. <laughs> you were, I thought you were going that way all the way. As a I fooled of fact. you and you sure myself. Did. No resolutions and this year. I know how you feel. You're tired of breaking them. You think, why should I make them? Sorry about that. Uh, what do you think, Vivian? What will Bill say? Uh, I think he's doing everything he wants to be doing and doesn't have any vices. That, I don't know, maybe drinking. He doesn't know how your bra. Oh, he did know about your bra. Yes, yeah. so yeah, he knew He's going to make a resolution to know my bra. Yeah, but he, he knew that one. He doesn't <laughs> Yo, yeah, uh, he have did. anything to make a resolution about? No, I don't think he will. No. Doesn't drink or smoke or any of those things? Mm -mm. What a guy. Mm, There's that's only one a... left. Huh? Yeah, he won't. No, I can't. No. No. No, so he won't be making resolutions. No, he won't because be making resolutions. Because he's perfect. He's perfect. What a guy. Yes. Here he comes. Bill, uh, you've got a, a good chance now to get back in the game. Uh, what do you think? I think now that I know where my wife's bra opens from, I'm going to get to know her boobs better. That's what I'm saying. Yes, I think we <laughs> No, no, I would say, sir. no, I know this. I definitely know this. I never made one before. Why start now? No. That's right. What you said. Okay, it's, this will decide the game then, Lynn. Well, um, yes, apart from making a resolution to know about where my bra does up or doesn't, uh, that's being frivolous, I think he'll say yes because uh, he's, uh, he's always saying, oh, well, thank goodness, it's a new year, it's a new start, and he's always vowing all sorts of things, some of which he carries out and some of which he doesn't. I think he'll say yes. He's always hopeful. He's an optimist, really. What would, the, what would a resolution be if he has Probably to Probably to clean up his office. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, clean up his act. I did. Yeah, well, that too. <laughs> that too. Clean up his office. No, his office. No, that probably he'll say something about getting all of the f papers off the floor. Something I like see. that. What about you? Do you have any resolutions you want to make? I always make resolutions every year, and yeah. I very seldom keep them. How long do you keep them, usually? About 
24 hours. <laughs> that long, eh? Yeah. All right, no, you're going to say uh, definitely yeah, he's gonna yes. going to say yes. He's yes. going to go for he's it. He's going to say yes. Okay, here he comes. John, uh, we need an answer from you, and this will decide the game. If you get this right, you will win. Uh, if you don't, uh, you won't. <laughs> Quick, eh? That's why well, I I, I've got resolution number one. That's to check my wife's bras for one yes, thing. Yes, that's so for sure. Answer is yes, I do. That's right. That's what you said. Ben and John, Vivian and Bill are right. Split the three hundred bucks in half. Time is upon us, and the red section wins it. We'll come back in a moment and give the Red Sox in their money. We'll be see you there the moment. The 12 Games of Christmas hosted by Betty White will return after this. Take the heat. Great idea for everyone. I've got this life philosophy. When you get thrown, you get right back up. That's why I took control with Depend Protective Underwear. It's just like regular. Same soft feel, same snug fit, and an absorbent panel built right in. So I don't have to worry. Except for the 500 head I gotta hurt. With Depend. It's so You'll easy love to new and improved Ziploc love. Easy Zipper. It's so easy to fall in love. It seems so easy. It's so easy. It's a doggone easy. Doggone easy. Doggone easy. With regular bags, you pinch and seal and hope it's closed. But now you can Easy Zipper it and know it's closed. New and improved Ziploc Easy Zipper. Easy opens, easy close. Easy Zipper. S.E. Johnson & Family Company. What's that? Hollywood Showdown, the new season will move you, premiering January 1st on Game Show Network. Big winners today, the red section with Lynn and John, $375. We had 1000 the red section will divide. $1,375, not bad, gang. Not bad at all. Lynn, um... Since you're our, our big winner today, you yes. and John, tell us about the show that you're doing even as we speak. Even as we speak, this very week I'm taping Shakespeare's Antony and Cleopatra. It's going on video cassettes. It'll be uh, distributed through Encyclopedia Britannica. You can, you can buy it, you can rent it, you can see some Shakespeare. And I'm oh, playing Cleopatra. Oh, how wonderful. Wondering. Of course you're playing Cleopatra. <laughs> Who else? Thank you all for being with us. You're all lovely. And you were too. I hope you have a lovely holiday. The birth time is saying I'll see you right here the next time. Thank you so much. Bye. In addition to cash awards, a member of the winning rooting section selected at random will also receive heat most any room in your home like magic with a Yuasa automatic kerosene heater. Yuasa cuts your fuel bills all winter. With the great taste of chocolate, your chocolate chip cookies with Hershey semi-sweet chips, milk chocolate chips, and mini chips from Hershey, the greatest name in chocolate. For family health, it's easy to use Lumiscope digitronic blood pressure and pulse monitor to record readings for doctor's evaluation from Lumiscope. And Niagara is America's number one selling spray star. To help prevent the deep penetration of soil and stains, you get a crisper, firmer finish with Niagara Spray Star. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Tattletales, a Mark Goodson, Bill Tottenham production. You shouldn't have. <laughs> and from the sound of it, <laughs> you didn't. Now, let's answer our play at home question. What does Bill Daly's wife consider more interesting than sex? 
It's food. And we've got more holiday game shows to feast your eyes on coming up next. Hi, I'm Alan Thick, host of All New Threes of Crowd. I love getting letters from ex-contestants. Dear Alan Thickhead, this won't be good. Mm. I went on your show with my wife and ex-girlfriend. Now they're getting engaged. I guess three really is a crowd. <laughs> a different kind of contestant for a different kind of show. All New Threes of Crowd, weeknights at 9.30 Eastern, only on Game Show Network. Ain't love grand.